Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is a great pleasure to welcoming you at the second ECB Banking Supervision Research Conference. Uh, last year, this was an innovation. Uh, it is now a good tradition, I believe. And I'm happy to see so many of you here in the room, but also the very many connected, uh, connected through the web. Uh, I think the response to our uh, call uh, was uh, uh, very, very overwhelming as last year with more than 200 registrations. I think this morning we have confirmed 260 people connecting. Uh, as you know, this year we are celebrating 10 years of the single supervisory mechanism, and the title of the conference is reflecting these uh, lessons learned and challenges ahead. Uh, as we normally do in our job, uh, we look at the past uh, to plan our future. Um, to mark our anniversary, we stick to our commitment to be open and uh, engage with stakeholders, and we have today here with us uh, researchers, supervisors, regulators, the industry, uh, and not only from, uh, from Europe. Uh, our ambition, as usual, for this conference is to have a, a very good discussion, interactive uh, sessions, and I hope that all of you will participate in the debate. Uh, for us, this is uh, uh, a very good uh, uh, opportunity to reflect uh, and discuss topics which are relevant for supervision out of the box and getting insights from uh, uh, research. At the same time, we also believe that uh, uh, banking supervision can provide exciting uh, topics for researchers and some uh, uh, good uh, data as well. Over the next two days, we will discuss topics including the progress made in the, U in the Euralia banking sector, uh, supervisory effectiveness, uh, all the new risks for banks and uh, which are the consequences for uh, supervisory priorities. Uh, last year, the conference was uh, very successful also in terms of the feedback we received, uh, uh, in particular because all the speakers made a great effort to give us intuition to uh, explain and present in simple terms uh, the policy implications of sometimes very complex uh, uh, analysis. And I'm sure and hope that this will be the case also this year. Uh, I look forward to the keynote speeches, uh, and tomorrow we also have a colloquium in which we will look at the evolution of banking supervision in the EU, uh, US, and UK. And I think uh, this will be a good chance for us to uh, learn some other lessons uh, for improving our policies, practices, and tackle the challenges uh, lying ahead. Uh, this year we also added, as you may have seen, uh, to the program a poster session. Uh, for young researchers. This is uh, for us a, a good way to incentivizing uh, a new research on banking issues, and I hope you will enjoy it. Now, some housekeeping. Uh, first, uh, a reminder for the journalists in the room on the media policy of the ECB. All the sessions uh, will be on the record, so you can freely report uh, the contents of each session and the papers presented. Uh, however, all the conversations uh, during the uh, conference uh, at the sideline are off the record unless this is otherwise agreed uh, with, the, uh, with your counterparties. Second, if you want to take the floor in the room, it's easy. Raise your hand. If you are connected, you can raise your hand uh, virtually or just put your name in the chat. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, you will be given the floor unless you prefer us to read your question. Uh, if you are in the room, please wait for the microphone so people connected can uh, hear you. Uh, and last but not least, uh, the acknowledgements. Uh, I would like to thank the program committee, chaired by Thorsten Beck, uh, as in the past, uh, and the organizers, uh, Andreas Bayer and Vula Purni. Let me say that Andreas is really the engine of this uh, uh, conference. There wouldn't be a conference without Andreas taking care of it. I would like also to thank uh, Stefan Seitz and Nasser Anafi and their teams for setting up this venue and taking uh, good care of us during the day and all the colleagues behind the scenes uh, uh, ensuring a smooth running of the event. Uh, 